rural Nebraska households without high-speed broadband service will get it under a bill signed into law today by Governor Pete Ricketts. That measure allocates $20 million to be distributed as grants to rural telecom companies through that program in each of the next two years. The money pays half the cost of providing broadband service with the telecom companies paying the other half. Providers will be required to provide 100 megabyte upload and download speeds. Governor Ricketts says it's important to bring all Nebraska households into the digital age. And that's a key part of this as well. We can only be a healthy state if we're growing our entire state. And while many parts of urban Nebraska have high-speed internet access, we've got to be able to connect all parts of Nebraska. This bill will help us do that. KTIV's Emily Schrod talked with a local provider in northeast Nebraska. She joins us with the impact the bill signing will have on folks living in rural Nebraska. Emily? Matt, I was able to speak with Pat McElroy, CEO and General Manager of Northeast Nebraska Telephone Company. He was in Lincoln this morning for the signing of that bill and tells me that broadband is an important part of, of improving Nebraska. You have to start somewhere and that this is helping it start. Whether it's working from home, remote learning, or just binging the latest show, many people have experienced more time online because of the pandemic. As the pandemic showed, broadband uh, can allow for a lot more things to happen at home and it allows for a lot more business to happen. Um, a lot more monitoring of equipment can occur um, and in, in ag, ag today there's just a lot more demands for uh, broadband services. But for around 80,000 rural Nebraskans, not having high-speed broadband internet has presented a challenge over the past 15 months. Measure LB388 is set to bring that high-speed broadband to more of those rural Nebraskan homes. It changes the way they'd live. Um, you, they'd have access to a lot of streaming options. They'd have access to a lot of home monitoring options that they don't have today. Uh, the, on the farmstead, if, if you have a uh, hog operation, I'm sure you, you, you could monitor more of what you're doing with your with your uh, your operations. It should give more Nebraskans the technology they need to continue working and living in the digital age. If, if you don't get some sort of a program like this in place, um, they probably will never get fiber built to their homes. And if they wouldn't have access to that internet? Well, they'd live in a digital desert. Um, you know, it, it, it doesn't allow them to experience everything that uh, people all across the rest of the country have as far as advantages for for creating a new business or starting business online. so It's an effort to bring Nebraskans together. McElroy adds after companies send in their grant applications, they'll find out in October if they're awarded that grant. Live in Jackson, Nebraska, Emily Sherrod, KTIV News 4. Emily, thank you.